Alrighty. So this is part two of part three. I don't know. Anyway, the character, uh, the character you prom. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get her started, I guess. Eh? Uh, this one is actually a little bit easier to remember. Uh, just lay, it's, it's laid out a little bit nicer, I think. So we'll go ahead and uh, I guess start with crap. Let's do uh, pin or hole for pin one to uh, to actual pin for thirty. Sorry, to defeat the purpose of even having the camera on. I keep taking everything off camera, huh? Get a little bit of solder and soldering iron again. This is the exact opposite way of how you actually want to solder. You never want to put solder on the actual soldering iron and then go with it from there, but whatever. It's not how I normally do it. There we go. It should be tacked enough, should hold. Let's do it properly. Not want to cooperate. There she goes. Sorry, right, solder iron got a little dirty last video. I need to wipe it off really quick. There we go. Yeah, always keep the tip of your soldering iron clean too. I'm rushing through this right now, trying to get this video done. We're always going to want to keep the tip clean. If your tip's dirty, it's not going to transfer heat well, and you're going to end up with what I just had there which is a mess. I mean, the solder looks okay, but it shouldn't have taken that long. Anyway. Hole from one to actual pin for 30. in the wire. I actually went through this last time uh, before I turned the camera back on. I actually went through and tinned all the pins. Even though you won't use all the lifted pins, we just, you know, I was on a roll. There we go. And now here's the part I really like because it's just easy to remember. Love it. The holes for pin 2 and 24 go to the opposite. So the hole for 2 goes to pin for 24, and the pin for 24 goes through the hole for 2. So you're basically just, uh, you're basically just swapping those around. Sorry again, it usually doesn't take me this long, but like I said, I am just shaking like crazy. The energy drink is kicking me right now. I'm kicking myself for drinking it. This make them taste like crap, you know what I mean? It won't be an issue. Like Red Bull? Tastes like crap. These monsters, they get you. Those are good. side after I drop my, my solder. So I'm going to pull another piece because it's on the floor and it's in the shadow and I can't find it. So pull another piece of solder. Luckily I got enough. I can get these big rolls like this off of, off of eBay. I think this cost me like five bucks and this will last me for another year or two. 
not only just with the Nintendo stuff, but also with arcade repairs and crap like that. We're doing the other one here, which is a hole for 24. Do the actual pin for two. See, that's normally why I anchor them. Pull it out when I was trying to when I was trying to strip it. There we go. Let me go ahead and anchor this time. This is actually much easier to do with a set of helpy hands. Those little those little holders that you can get that hold the wires for you. Oh, those things are awesome. Sadly, I don't actually have a tripod, so. I just have my camera kind of hanging by its by its strap up here, uh, which is why I'm having to do everything at such a such a terrible terrible place as far as lighting goes. All right, there we go. Get back in here. A little bit of flux. Get the wire tinned. Connected. There we go. There's two of them. One more and we're done. Almost there. This one's a goofy one. This is from the hole on pin 31. I'm going to go ahead and tack this one in. Well, let me get it turned first. There we go. Go ahead and tack this one in now. Gonna need a little bit of flux, I can tell already. There we go. And I'm not really putting a lot on, it just takes a couple seconds for it to start flowing out of the out of the needle that I have the flux in. And a little solder on the soldering iron. And she is Almost. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of solder. Oh well. And now just bend it over. And cut it. Actually make sure to double check that length. There we go. And strip it and solder it. Actually, I'm going to strip it, tin it, and get it up there and solder it. Because this one always gives me trouble for some reason. There we go. All I do is just bring it over underneath these guys and then just loop the top around where it connects. Try to get a, a little bit of a connection to solder. There we go. A little something like that. Now I'm going to put a little extra solder on it. A little extra on the soldering iron also. And just get the wire back into place and tack her in. Make sure she stays tacked. There we go. And that's that. Now, assuming we did everything right, it should be working. So, uh, let's slap it in a case and see what we got. What is this case right now? This is one of my earthbound cases. Unfortunately, I don't want to have this empty right now, so it'll do. Make sure she's clean. Oh, this 
something right there. There we go. Yeah, if you gotta make sure it's clean, now's the time to do it while you got it out. So slap her in. Put the case back together. There's no reason to Hercules these things on. I'd actually recommend against tightening these things too much. If you do, it'll just strip the plastic underneath and you're gonna end up with a screw that doesn't stay in. So just enough. Alrighty. Slap her in. Before I go ahead and bring the camera around. Point the TV. Alright, how's it going? Yeah, this place is just a mess. I know. And let's see what we got here. Should be good enough. Oh, make sure it's plugged in all the way. I uh, can see there's something wrong with the character on there. Now, is it actually a connection or dirty? See, it's just dirty. There you go. That happens a lot. Don't worry about it. My Nintendo is pretty old. This is got this Nintendo when they first came out. I've had her ever since. So probably about time to replace that 72 pin connector. We'll see how she does. And finishing below. Oh. Seems to flash a little bit longer in uh, two. Flashes a little bit longer than you do in one, but seems to be doing okay. So, that's that. Uh, not sure what else. As far as the uh, the label and everything, I can show that uh, later in another video, explain the sizing for it. But uh, that'll do it for now, right? All right, y'all take it easy.